Lasting for five months, one week, and three days, the Battle of Stalingrad was the single largest and bloodiest battle in the history of warfare. It's usually impossible to visit these halls without throngs of tourists, but this is how Catherine saw her collection. Alone, undisturbed, face to face, with history. On beaches like this one outside of Kaliningrad, precious gemstone amber is so plentiful, you might simply find it washed up in the sand. Now, I left Russia when I was 15, so I didn't get to experience this part of Russian culture, but I've enlisted a couple of experts to help me make up for lost time. The traditional prize, let's just call him Boris. That's right, I'm winning that ram. Well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. From Swan Lake to the Nutcracker to the 1812 Overture, no Russian composer has had greater influence on music than Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. On July 17, 1918, the royal family members and their staff were woken and told they were being transferred. They were escorted down here to what used to be the basement of the Ipatyev house. The firing squad entered, and 20 minutes later, the 300-year reign of the Romanov dynasty was over. The heart of the complex is the immense statue Motherland calls, nearly twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. In 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in California, and Russian teams even came out to teach the Americans how to pan for it. So you could say that without the Russian gold rush, the American gold rush might never have happened. When a leopard is ready for a graduation test, wild animals pass through these automated gates and are released into these leopard hunting grounds. There is a leopard there waiting for graduation test right now. Needless to say, German heritage was not widely celebrated in the post-war years. But after nearly 75 years of peace, enough time has passed for the people of Kaliningrad to start embracing their complex history. We fought for this. And now we have to, of course, It has the scale of America's National Mall and the seriousness of Pearl Harbor. Combine them, and that's what it feels like to visit Mamayev Kurgan, the memorial complex for the Battle of Stalingrad. Over one million Russian soldiers fell here. It is a place of healing for veterans, the city, and the entire country. The heart of the complex is the immense statue Motherland calls, nearly twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Its power lies not only in what is seen, but also in what lies beneath. Below its base lay the remains of nearly 35,000 unidentified soldiers. Its staggering size represents not only the huge price paid by the Russian people in the war, but also its enormous meaning in every Russian's heart. Это родина мать. Это действительно, ну, гордость придает. Mamayev Kurgan isn't just a place of mourning. It's also one of hope. Entering the Hall of Warrior Glory feels like stepping into a memorial service. The hand stretching from the ground carries the flame of peace from the fallen to the future generations. Kazan is the ancient capital of the land of the Tartars, and Sabantui is their traditional festival celebrating the end of the harvest. There's food, music, contests, and prizes, and today I'm not walking away without one. Historically, Tartars hailed from the nomadic tribes known for their strength, agility, skilled horsemanship, and fearlessness in battle. Sabantui honors these traditions by holding physical contests, in which the overall winner is declared the batir, or hero of the festival. The traditional prize, Let's just call him Boris. That's right, I'm winning that ram. Well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but I wasn't giving up on Boris just yet. Okay, I meant to do that. So, 
maybe this Russian wasn't cut out to be a Tartar hero after all. But at Sabantui, they also give a prize for the one who tries the hardest, and no one at the festival tried harder than I did. Oh well, Boris never would have made it through customs anyway. Футбол для меня успокоенность своей души. Ты раскрываешь перед детьми все свои возможности, границы, потому что они в этом нуждаются. Они обращаются ко мне, да, даже без слов. Я это вижу и понимаю. В 2006 году мы открыли футбольный клуб «Звезда» с заболеванием детским серебряным параличом. There are government programs for children with special needs in Russia but their benefits are mostly limited to immediate medical issues. So when it comes to teaching kids self-confidence and basic life skills, the importance of Coach Gerasimov's team is paramount. For Coach Gerasimov, teaching physical skills is only part of a game. What football is really about is inspiration. Today he's making it possible for the boys to meet Zenit St. Petersburg legend Alexander Kerzhakov. He's the all-time leading scorer in Russian national team history. Кто хочет потренироваться сегодня? Покажите класс. Я тоже очень счастлив, что мне удалось, во-первых, познакомиться с этими ребятами и насладиться тем мужеством и отвагой, наверное, которые у них есть намного больше, чем у меня. Вот для этих ребят самый лучший для них подарок это не материальное, а вот именно моральное. Не то, что поддержка, а просто участие вместе с ними в такого рода мероприятиях. У них сразу появляется такой блеск в глазах. Дай бог, чтобы у них был всегда. Самый лучший момент сегодняшней игры. Кинайте. Ну я отдаю четыре. Его, да. Это билеты на матч чемпионата мира. But if the World Cup can be a life-changing experience for millions of regular fans, imagine how it might change the life of three boys with special needs from St. Petersburg. Через то, что они пытаются показать свои старания, умения, они раскрывают меня тем самым. То есть моя душа к ним еще ближе становится. Потому что я понимаю, что если бы не было у них вот этой возможности, им бы, наверное, было немножко сложнее в этой жизни. Gold. It's the most powerful metal on earth. And Russia is one of the world's leading suppliers of it. It all began in 1745, when a peasant named Yerofey Markov, while looking for crystal, found something else, a tiny gold speck inside a piece of quartz. His discovery changed the history of Russia and the world. Three years after Markov found the first gold in Russia, mines like these popped up all over this region. It was grueling work. To get an ounce of gold, miners had to cut, grind and wash more than seven tons of raw ore. For the next 66 years, this was the only way to extract gold in Russia until Leo Brusnitsyn made a revolutionary discovery. A son of a gold miner, Brusnitsyn discovered that gold flecks also existed in the sediment of local riverbeds. He then developed an ingenious panning technique based on a simple principle. Gold is heavier than rock and sand, and if washed properly, it will sink to the bottom of a pan. Oh. Is that by 1816, only two years later, half of all gold in Russia was obtained using Brusnitsyn's method. And because it was now accessible to everyone, people from all over Russia flocked here to get rich quick. And so, the Russian gold rush began. It wasn't long before Brusnitsyn's method caught on around the world. In 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in California, and Russian teams even came out to teach the Americans how to pan for it. So you could say that without the Russian gold rush, the American gold rush might never have happened.
Будда Шакимуни один раз у него спросили, что такое буддизм? Обуздать свое сознание? Это и есть учение моей Будды. live in Russia, and the Ulan-Ude region is their spiritual center. Its datsans, or monasteries, are visited by countless pilgrims on the noble path to enlightenment. For the monks of evil Ginsky datsan, reality is an illusion framed by misperceptions. Remove them, and you can reach a state of bliss. To get there, they spend their days praying, performing rituals, and engaging in spirited debates. A successful one might raise more questions than answers. Ну, одно другому противоречит же, как тьма цвету, правильно? Мы живем иллюзиями. Хорошо, все иллюзия, а что правда? Прекращение страданий. И в этом цель буддизма. В этом цель буддизма. То есть счастье. Time, like everything else, is a paradox here. You start by learning just how impermanent everything is. By the time you leave, you know that some truths are timeless. <laughs> 